Welcome to Embracing Mattress. Thank you to everyone that has liked, shared, subscribed. Hit the notification bell. If you have sent me an email, purchased a reading, donated to the page, thank you so much. If you've commented down below, I do appreciate it. I appreciate you guys more than you can ever know. Thank you for being part of my family, my soul family. All right, this is going to be the weekly love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, so you want to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Know that spirit can give you messages that could be masculine or feminine right because we encompass both sides within us um this could be about the person that you're thinking of yourself or your cross watcher and cross watchers if you have stumbled across this video you do not have sagittarius in your chart or anyone around you with sagittarius in theirs then spirit has a message for you okay thank you for coming to see me i appreciate you spending time with me now, Sagittarius, it says past life relationships. You have known each other before. You could have been in a relationship or friendship or what have you with someone that was from a past life. Okay? Some sort of soul tied to this person. All right? Either you were in a relationship like that. Okay? Or one like that is coming towards you. Because I believe that it's coming towards you. Let me tell you why. Because it says flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And this could be you meeting, mingling, dating, etc. But Spirit says, for you to be able to receive this new person, you have got to totally release your ex. That could be anyone that's in your energy, anyone that you uh, think about, anyone, you know, that you um, uh, have had ties to recently, okay? You need to cut them out so that you can receive who is on their way to you from spirit. Now, this tells me here, okay, that either in the past someone just wanted to have sexual relations with you. There's a passionate, you know, it says passion, creativity, spark, spirit of fire. This person could be a fire sign like you or this could be you, Sagittarius. Spirit of the tower, surprises, shifts, big changes, meaning, yeah, this person, yeah, was was in and out, you know, it would just be abrupt, you know, you get some and go on about their business, or this could be you popping up on the scene, Sagittarius, seeing whoever it is that you're seeing, and this person looks like they were giving you a gift, like they were being generosity, you know, generous to you, being, showing you generosity is what I want to say, okay, like, I'm going to break from you, but this little bit of whatever I'm giving you, you know, you better take it and be, um, be grateful. That's what I'm hearing. The spirit is saying with the spirit of the stranger, caution, warning, danger, this person did not mean you any good. Okay. And you may be reflecting on this now, or they are reflecting on how they treated you with this mirror of spirit because this person whomever it is, whether it be you or them, was false. They may have been not showing you who they were. You may not have known anything about them. Maybe you did thought, think that you knew, but you didn't, okay? This person had a lot hidden from you. They were being very deceptive, okay? Um, but someone here felt like someone was very beautiful. Someone was untamed. Someone was a free spirit. And yeah, they were just drawn to it. But that person that was drawn to the free spirit, Okay, it says that they were decayed, rotten, stagnation, meaning they just had a lot of dirty shit about their life that they had going on behind your back. And yeah, this caused them to be stagnant with you, not not being loving, not being caring, not coming around, not showing you the love, the care, the devotion that you deserve. Okay, so Sagittarius, stay with me. Okay. You had a void in your heart, in your mind, in your soul because of this person. And this person had you feeling like you were secondary, meaning you could have been in the third party situation and they could have had more than just three. You know, they could have had you, you know, stuck on the side while they saw, you know, whomever, while they did whatever. And you may be feeling repelled about this right now. Okay. And you may have had to force yourself forcefully out of this uh, union to go forward, okay? Because for a while there, you were stagnant. You were stagnant. 
okay? Because you didn't know what to do or this person was stagnant because they didn't know what to do about you, right? Because this person um, showed to you that they were really, really superficial, okay? You could have been feeling empty about it. They could be feeling empty about it now, about how they treated you. But overall, um, someone here was very disillusioned about the situation and really did not know what the hell was going on with it, okay? And, you know, someone here, you know, um, yeah, they were just feeling some sort of way, okay? So, so you have the two of wands, which means that you have a choice to make, okay? A direction to take. And it's also the justice card, which means that it's your karma to do that, right? Somebody's karma. Um, two of wands, okay? This person <clears throat> could, um... Uh, could be an Aries person. Yeah, could be an Aries. Yeah, Aries, I believe. Could be an Aries person, okay? Um, Justice is Libra, or someone with Libra, or yeah, both of them. Someone with Aries in their chart, someone with Lib uh, Libra in their chart, okay? Um, so with, with the Two of Wands, um, someone's planning or, you know, trying to figure out what they want to do. They could be frustrated. Not knowing how to make moves, you know, decisions must be made, right? Right? Someone could want to move forward but can't, you know? Stuff of that nature. But Spirit is saying, if this is you, Sagittarius, that karma is definitely on your side and whatever decision that you do make will be in your favor. Now, when it comes to being left out in the cold... With this Five of Pentacles and this Eight of Cups, this tells me, and I'll show you all of these. So you guys saw these too, all right? When it comes to being left out in the cold and someone walking away, we'll get to those, all right? So yeah, either you were hurt, Sagittarius, and you ended up walking away from this person, or you were hurt because this person walked away from you. So take it how it resonates. But either way, okay, uh, five of pentacles um, could mean a Taurus person was involved in this in some way, all right? Uh, material challenges, some sort of lack of money, lack of adequate accommodations, hard times, you know, um, some sort of financial commitment. Somebody here could have been experiencing a financial commitment to where they had to walk away from you, Sagittarius, or this is you walking away from them. With the Eight of Cups, um, I see here that, <clears throat> excuse me, this could be a person with Pisces in the chart. Um, an emotional decision was made, okay? Someone turned away from the situation, either it was you or them, and they decided to take a more difficult path because, yeah, that's what happened. The difficult path was whatever they went to. Okay, you also have the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords here, okay? So with the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, um, let's see here, Knight of Swords um, is a Taurus or a Gemini, could, could have to do with a Taurus or a Gemini person, somebody that fights for a cause, single-minded, um, determined, um, a, somebody that's very criti critical and swift acting, right? Somebody that wants to make a change or wants something done, some sort of action. Um, Nine of Swords. Um, this could be also having to do with the Gemini person. Someone was in their feelings about this Gemini person or this, or you, Sagittarius, was in your feelings about a, a, a Gemini person, etc. Take it how it resonates or someone with Gen Gemini in, in their chart. Um, when it comes to the Nine of Swords, it's fear, anxiety, worry, nightmares, unable to find a solution, okay? Um, Spirit is saying that the solution lies within the problem. You need to turn things around and try seeing things from a new perspective. That's for someone out here. And you also have the Hierophant card, which, again, could be Taurus, you know? A lot of Taurus here in the chart here. A lot of this going on here, you know, um, this, this could be, you know, regarding a union, a commitment with someone else that has you in your feelings or your person in their feelings. Um, yeah. 
Um, so marriage and commitment, right? And if you're not married, you could be elevating to a higher commitment for that's for some people. Um, but basically with the higher friends, somebody set in their ways, okay? They like to argue political, religious, sports, what have you. Um, and yeah, this is just them. They feel like it's their way or the highway with this higher thing. Now, let's just recap, okay? Someone had a decision, okay? And they're getting karma as per that decision, whether it be, be good karma or bad karma. Someone left someone out in the cold and walked away from them, okay? And this could have been for financial reasons, right? Or someone decided and made an abrupt decision. Um, uh, and someone wants to make an, an action of some, some nature towards someone else. And someone's in their feelings about it because, you know, this could have something to do with a marriage or a commitment of some nature, okay? So let's get to the other cards up here, Sagittarius. You have the success card, okay? Let's see what this is. That's a number 39. And that breaks down to a 12. One plus two is three. So let's see. Uh, know that all things, one moment, wrong page. I'm trying to read y'all something else. One minute, number 39. Okay, success. Accomplishments are yours now, and you are in a position to reap the reward of your hard work. The symbol of success reminds you that hard work pays off. Being true to yourself and refusing to compromise will yield good things. Choosing this card is a wondrous sign that all is well in your life. The symbol requires you to keep working hard, lest you lose the knowledge you have gained. Now is not the time for slacking off. Keep going and celebrate even the smallest victory. Be proud of yourself as spirit is proud of you. Remember, everything you choose now will come to be realized. Choose wisely. So you are manifesting, Sagittarius. Spirit is saying to be careful what you manifest, okay? Make sure that you're manifesting this new person, this new soulmate into your life. Um, because Spirit is trying to send you just what you want at this time. So you have a high honor card as well. Okay. And for the high honor card, the message is as follows. Trophies, medals, honor, success, promotion, or raise. Okay. Graduating with honors. On your way up socially or professionally. You guys could be doing well at work. Um... You know, you could be thinking better, could be eating better, could be taking better care of your body, your, your mind, your soul. You could be in a better place with spirit, okay? Be, be um, learning new new things, right? If you're in a relationship, Sagittarius, you know, it could be an invitation or a declaration of love from somebody, or maybe that could be coming towards you soon. Um, yeah. Spirit is basically just saying that you're getting rewarded for all of the things that you've been through and everything that you've made it through uh, up to now. All right. But anyway, Sagittarius, I love you guys. Um, thank you uh, for coming and rocking out with me. If you need a personal reading, please let me know. The information's in the box below. Please like, share, subscribe, and you guys take care.